Hello and welcome to this video. This is continuing on to the hardware video that I did last time, looking at the MSI board that I installed, the MSI Craft Craft board, um, Craft Edition board. Um, now this is a piece of software called Command Center. Now basically, it is it is the it is um, an overlook and a tunable piece of software that 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 you can overlook the whole part of the BIOS system. So basically what you can do is you can overclock, you can see all the individual stats of your RAM, what your RAM is currently producing and the capacity and you can basically tune the whole system using this. Now I have pre-tuned it via the BIOS and I will run through that in another in a another pro uh, sorry another video but this is just to have a look at the few programs that you do actually install when using this board. Now this as I said is the command center so so as you can see that is the current system that I have got. That is the board that I have installed that you can have a look at the um, hardware review and um, I will install a link below and I will also put a card up at the top and uh, yes yeah, so this is the command center so it's so as you can see the first page is the CPU page now this um, this CPU is stock clocked at 3.3 gigahertz and I've managed to overclock it to 4.2 gigahertz just by changing a few things in the BIOS. Now now this ratio button is very important. Now at the current status it is ratio of 21.0. Now you've got 21.0 sorry 20.0 zero five you've got twenty point zero and so on and so forth now when you actually now the stock um clock of this is sixteen so I've upgraded it from one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I think eleven eleven uh, ratio ratings now that's that's handy in the way that you can easily overclock your system uh, actually it's 21 that's it so it's 10 um so it's 200 times 21.0 um now if you've never overclocked a system before this is a very easy program to get to get um to get accompanied with now it works along the lines of the ASUS um, AI Suite 3, um, but this is, I reckon this be more, this is more like um, easy to use really. And as you see over here, that is your fan ramp, uh, the fan tuning. So the system fan is running at 3080 rpm but it shoots up and down it's running at 100 percent so that's a manual mode you've also got smart mode which it will it will auto adjust on the speed of your processor and <clears throat> and the speed of your um, of your current usage um and you've also got the system fan but as the system is set up doesn't use any speed controls of system of your system fan, so you can't. So I basically can't pre-tune the system fans in it, um, so it's not detecting anything in the system fans. But if you have got um, your system fans linked to your motherboard, you can use this to ramp up from say like fifty to one hundred percent. So that's that that's that's very handy. Um, so right, so uh, let's get out of this. Moving on, you have your um, RAM voltage, your RAM frequency, 
your run voltage, your IGP frequency, and your GT voltage. Now these, I'm unsure what what they actually do. Um, I haven't I haven't really messed around with this this part that often, but this is what my current RAM is. It's um, it's 16 gig running at 1600 megahertz um, speed, which is the which is the max speed for this RAMs these sets of RAM sticks. So it's two 16, sorry, two eight um, DDR3 RAM sticks running at 16 megahertz, 1600 megahertz, sorry. And uh, that's the RAM voltage. It's you can you can overclock it if you want. I just leave it as standard. That's that's okay. Um, and you've got the GP. You got the G uh, IGP, which again I'm on on unfamiliar what that actually does. Um, you have got RAM uh, RAM sticks, which I really don't. Um, I don't use on this system, but if you have a RAM stick or a RAM, um, a RAM setup where you can easily access the RAM uh, for for your programs, you can have your programs installed on there. You can have everything. Uh, I won't suggest putting your system, uh, your um, system files on there because as soon as if if you ever have a system failure. And your computer just switches off; it loses everything. It's a volatile memory, so it's good for it's good for uh, programs or tasks that you want accessed very, very readily and very, uh, very speedily. Um, so this is currently not enabled in this because really I don't really use that part. This and. Last but not least, is you've got the genie, uh, the OC genie. So um, the OC genie is it 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 basically um, syncs all your uh, G, uh, CPU memory modes and GPU all in one. So you can basically um, you can fine tune it. You can tune it to the maximum setting, and also you've got how to start so you uh that's what you can do so you open up the case uh you press the oc genie button which is on the motherboard which i have actually um seen there on the motherboard and then you power on the system i haven't yet used that system but i will and i will put um benchmarks on this now um now the other program that you have where is it msi 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 so you also have fast boot which uh when it loads up come on when it loads up oh yeah so that sits in your sits in your taskbar in the um in the little um dock there so it sits there and it basically allows you to access your BIOS uh, fastly and from the from the um, from the OS. Then you have um, the, the, the live update, which obviously live updates your um, your system, your um, your software, your MSI software. So. As you can see, I've now got optional utility to Google to bar, but I have managed to update all of the um, all up. So those are the those are the systems that those are the programs that I have updated. So I've updated the network drivers, the audio drivers, the command center, the supercharger and the smart tool. Now, um, right. Uh, sorry about the speedily of this of this um, this video. Whoa, sugar. Whoa, sorry about that. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see if that. Yeah. So this is the network genie. Sorry about that. So 
basically you can customize your network speeds so you've got game mode stream mode browser mode and auto mode it's set on auto mode but i have had it on gaming mode before then you've got the applications so you've got all your applications so you can customize your access to the network so you can say right well i don't want that on low i want it on high so that's that's good that um that is your benchmark for your internet speed so you can press uh so you can put in values there of what 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 maximum or minimum you want to set your download and upload speeds at and it will try <coughs> so it will try to um to it will link your um internet speeds with that um this is this delay sensitive settings so you can speed up response time and t c p no delay so basically you can you can customize that and i'm not sure what tcp stands for but you can customize that to your heart's content that is the system that i'm currently running so it's an amd 8300 8 core processor uh, network card is a realtek pcie gbe family controller i am running 16 Point three five three two nine megabytes of RAM. I have got a Radon uh, RX four hundred and eighty graphics card. I'm obviously running um, GP. Uh, sorry, um, Windows ten Pro. I've got a GPU usage of five to eleven. Uh, network state uh, connection state was network linked. Um, total package is sent. There's my total package sent and total packages received. That's my stats for total packages. And that's just, uh, you know, copyright information. And that's the website. Right. So let's have a look. See what other MSI, MSI, MSI. Oh, supercharger. Oh, no, smart tool. So you've got smart tool. Whoa. I need to turn that down a little bit. So you've got smart tool when it blows up. Right, so smart tool, this is a utility. Uti this is this utility will create an Intel 100 to 200 series and an AMD AM4 compatible Windows installation. Uh, file on USB storage for ISO or an ISO file. You will allow to install U Windows 7 from your USB device or SATA ODD for Intel 100 to 200 series and an AM, AMD AM4 series motherboard. Right, so that's how you can smartly um, customize your installation for the Intel 100 to 200 series or the new AM4 series um, boards. So that's that's quite good um but obviously i have no need for that at the moment um what else oh supercharger all right let's see if this loads up supercharger come on right so that i don't think that's gonna load up well anyway anyway so that 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 um i'm Pretty sure where is it? Supercharger. Oh, supercharger's already running. Where is it? Supercharger, supercharger, supercharger. Right, well it's not obviously popping up now. Anyway, anyway, so that is the um that is the a brief look at all the software that you that you do actually um have with the with the motherboard um yeah that supercharger's not working at the moment um so you can customize your setup you can overclock your um 
your processor as long as you have a overclockable um, CPU, either a Black Edition or a Z or an X version um, CPU. Um, I'm not sure with Intel, I'm not very familiar with Intel, but a Black Edition AMD processor will do it and you will be able to overclock that to more or less the stated speed of the turbo clock. Possibly a little bit more, but that all depends on your on your um, on your fan setup or your liquid cooler setup. Now, uh, for liquid coolers, uh, I've heard there's not much difference between a good fan cooler to a liquid cooler, but it depends on the setup. I've only got the Wharf cooler, which I got with me eighty three fifty processor, which I ended up damaging. So anyway, um, and just to, um, just for, just for a little bit of a look into the MSI Afterburner as well. This is a good GPU CPU um, overclock program. It is available even if you don't have an MSI board or an MSI card. It will work. I. <clears throat> I was able to overclock the system, my card, um, my R um, R9 280, uh, to to near about the manageable system specs of the card, um, to the maximum overclock specs of the card. So it is a very very good um, a good. Uh, overclockable piece of software and also you have a uh, chrome buster which is um which allows you to perform stability testing checks and um other things like that so yep so as you can see it's running a stability check and that's how you do the benchmarks um and also Oh, and on. Yep, and also that's that's the website where you can get the the um, the piece of software from. But anyway, um, I'm not really familiar with that with this piece of software. I've only been using it for probably a few weeks, so I haven't really explored it too much. Um, I've just really used it on and off for the last couple of weeks but it is a quite good program anyway that's it for this video um i hope you enjoyed looking at this uh, this this selection of software and i hoped and i hope it was a valuable information on the um on the insides of what you get included in the board on the cd also you get a bunch of drivers for the for this system for the system board that you that you have um yep so anyway anyway thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you next time on another video bye for now bye